Welcome everyone, this is a tutorial on how to paint the other little mortal's faces. Um, it, the goal is to paint something like this. Um, so I will go ahead and start talking about that. Um, the goal, the, the, all, the other goal is not to paint something like that one there. Just make sure that everything you do is intentional. What we're trying to do is something simple, impactful, and elegant. Here's a male and a female version of different the other little mortal's faces. You can go this simple. Um, something this simple will and should only take you about five to ten minutes. But when you, once you get more intricate, uh, it gets a little bit more challenging. Um, I, I want people to realize that there's a simple, which is free, and then on the right side is a more intricate, which will um, we'll just charge 20 bucks. We make it uh, um, aware to them that they want something with spirals and swirls and, and spider webs. It takes a lot more time, so we're um, charging, and the money goes directly to the, the fundraising event. So um, it goes to college uh, scholarships. So right here I'm showing that Snazaru Paints is what I used to work with. Um, Snazaru is a low quality, um, basically beginner grade face paint um, you can get at Michael's. Um, and it is a little bit more difficult to push around, sometimes you don't get solid colors. Um, I, I recently spoke with a professional face painter and they referred me to Tag Brand. This one does not, um, I mean it's a lot more solid, it does not drip like so when, it, uh, when a sweaty face um, when your face gets sweaty, the the paint won't 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 uh, drip. I got red. We got burgundy. We have teal, white, and black. These uh, colors are uh, symbolic or encapsulate the other los muertos. You also want a jar of water, some paint brushes, some sponges, a spray bottle, and lastly, you do want like a little piece of paper and some paper towel. A piece of paper will allows you to test your your paints before they go on your face. Sponges just make sure they're clean and they're washed be between um, subjects. All right. So and then lastly, you're gonna need a face to paint. Here we go. <clears throat> so we're gonna fast forward here and show you pretty quickly um, how this goes. Make sure that you use a small spray bottle. This one was a little too large, but it's the only one I could find at the moment. Um, uh, something that spritzes a little smaller. Um, causes less ricochet in the paint. You don't want white in your black and vice versa. You want to create a nice thick layer of white paint before it goes on. Make sure there's not too much water in the sponge otherwise it'll cause small little drips and those drips can end up on someone's nice clothes. So here we go. First thing, first things first, draw some circles around the eyes. Make sure that there's a, a plenty of gap between the eyes as well. Um, I would say about two to three, three fingers uh, spacing, and then you paint the rest of the face as white as possible. Also, try to paint it farther back than I'm showing here. One thing I had to go back and do, and you'll see it at the the final, the final screenshot of uh, this model's face. You will see that I painted closer to the ears. Paint as back as possible to give it the skull feel. Otherwise, it feels more like a mask. So paint, paint away. Try to get that nice thick consistency in the tag face paint. Say tag is a semi-pro um, quality face paint. So it's about eight dollars a patty. You can get them on Amazon, and it will last you forever. Um, and you don't need a whole lot. So here I am painting two black eyes now. Make sure that they are uh, symmetrical. Symmetrical meaning like a butterfly's wings. The left should look like the right, except that it should be mirror image. So try to get the angles, the shapes. And the more practice you get, the faster you will be at accuracy. Um, and you also realize that the more faces you do, the less you care about perfection. You just have to paint, paint, paint. And nine times out of ten, your customer will be happy. Especially if it's a little kid. They don't care. But if it's an adult, you can spend a little bit more time on the adult. Just whatever you do, try to make them happy. Um, the nose is shaped kind of like a Millennium Falcon in this example. I'm using the picture that I showed comparing the free to the $20 model. Um, paint the lips as you would with lipstick. I have no experience with that. Just try to make them as aesthetically pleasing as possible. I'm going with black. Um, remember, this is the Dia de los Muertos. It is, uh, it's, it's all in relation to a skull face. Here I've, I've, I've stolen this design from that same picture. It accentuates the cheekbones 
you don't have to do this design you can go straight out you can do all sorts of styles for it but uh, or, or you just search up some other simple styles I decided to try this one um, and I really liked it so in case you don't know Day of the Dead is just a, a it's related to several holidays um, some Catholic some not it's essentially a time to celebrate those loved ones those, those have, that have passed um, you know, according to folklore, this is the one day where you could re they could visit you and you could visit them. So, um, as as a living, you um, gift them with um, things they enjoyed when they were alive. And it's just a good time to honor and pay pay homage homage to those loved ones. Alright, so around the eyes I'm doing some red flower petals. You can do black, you can just do basic outline for for times for sake of time. Um, I drew them out first and then I filled them in. It's a, it's a technique that worked for me. You can do them however you want. Um, also they don't have to be perfect. If you zoomed in you'd see that uh, it was far from perfect. Try to keep them similar but again perfection is not required. And whatever you don't get perfect, I actually had intended to go back through and outline everything so you can uh, perfect with black or at least edit some things. Um, if you've de ever done some cartooning, you don't do the black outlining first, you do it last so you can clean up a lot of your mistakes. Same thing with this face painting. Draw it out, don't deal with the mistakes yet, and then when you outline them, that's when you start correcting things. Oh, that's my baby. There's the baby. I don't know how it ended up, <laughs> ended up in the picture. Here you go. We're nearly done here. We just need to outline those flower petals around the eyes. Boop, boop, boop. And that's just about it. If you have any questions, please call me or text or sorry, uh, email me. S Martinez at psd one dot org. There's a final result. All right, thank you very much.